Всем привет! Сегодня у нас урок грамматики. Я вам покажу родительный падеж единственного числа. Вы внимательно посмотрите и послушаете на примеры, а потом мы уже перейдем и будем работать с вами вместе с доской. Окей, okay, hello guys, now I am outside and I'm going to show you some examples of genitive case. And uh, then when I will be at home, uh, we are going to work uh, with uh, a blackboard. Итак, посмотрите. Это, это песок. Песок. А дома у меня песка нет. Дома песка нет. Сейчас вы видите лавочку. Uh, there you can see a bench. Дома у меня лавочки нет. There isn't any bench at my house. Now you can see a swing. Вы видите сейчас качель. But there isn't any swing at my house. Но в моем доме нет качели. Вы видите дерево. You can see a tree. Дома у меня дерева нет. There isn't any tree at my house. Это трава. There is grass on the ground. Дома у меня травы нет. There isn't any grass at my house. Okay, hello guys. Uh, you have just seen uh, the seen and listened to the expressions in the genitive case. And now uh, let's look at some uh, look, look let's look at the same expressions on the blackboard. Okay, first of all, uh, we are going uh, to look through the expressions in our, to the words in the genitive case. And there are two questions uh, that it, uh, the genitive case has кого, if uh, the object is uh, animate, and if it is uh, inanimate, it's чего. All of these words that uh, I have used are uh, inanimate. That's why all the questions uh, are asked чего. Okay, at the end of the lesson I will make uh, some examples uh, where we have the question кого. Okay? <clears throat> okay, let's start. У меня нет песка Дома. I don't have any sand at home. Песок. It is male and in the nominative case it doesn't have any ending. Uh, but in the genitive case we have ending R. У меня нет песка. The ending changes into R. Okay, zero ending changes into R ending, right? The next. У меня... Лавочки дома нет. Лавочки. There isn't any bench at home. Лавочка, a bench, in the nominative case has the ending R. But in the genitive case, R changes into E. That's why лавочки. У меня лавочки нет. The next. У меня качели дома нет. I don't have any swing at home. But be attentive. Uh, this is an exception to the rule because качели in the nominative case have the same ending because uh, this word is already in plural. And this is an exception, but uh, I've used it in my uh, example. That's why it is written on the blackboard. У меня, у меня качели дома нет. I don't have any swing at home. The next example. And this uh, word is 
in plural. I've just said it, if I'm not mistaken. У меня дерева дома нет. I don't have any tree at home. Дерево, this is neutral. The ending is о. And о changes into а in the genitive case. У меня дерева нет. I don't have any tree at home. And the last example. У меня травы дома нет. I don't have any grass uh, at home. Трава is a... Wait a second. Female. And in the nominative case, there is ending a. A changes into u in the genitive case. Okay, I think you have noticed that uh, in the genitive case, there are only a, u, a, and e endings. Okay, if it is a, a female noun, uh, it is changes in the e. Uh, if it is a, a male noun, zero ending changes into a. If it is neutral, if it is a neutral or noun, o changes into a. And if it is a, how to say, if it is a, it is uh, the uh, female noun, a changes into u. Okay? U, u, o, i. There are two endings. If it is a male, a e, female, sorry. Okay, and but uh, as I've said, uh, we have only uh, inanimate uh, nouns. Now let's make some examples with um, animate nouns. And the question will be кого. У меня нет бабушки. Она умерла. I don't have a granny because she has died. У меня нет кого? У меня нет бабушки. Бабушки, the ending is и, e and this is the genitive case, because бабушка in the nominative case has ending а. And as we know, а changes into и e in the genitive case. Okay? Hope everything uh, was clear as well, uh, because you are good students. And by the way, uh, be attentive. Uh, this Saturday, uh, I'm going uh, to... How to say? I don't know how to say it in English. Wait a second. Uh, let's collect the information that I have in my head. Um, we are going to have uh, Russian lessons this Saturday. And each Saturday, uh, I am planning uh, to give you uh, a free lesson. That's why if you have any questions, I mean questions that deal with the Russian language, I will answer with great pleasure. Okay, uh, write me your questions uh, to me, please. Use my email, it, it will be under the video. And if you have any questions according to this one, I mean according to this video, please leave me your comments. Окей, okay, I will answer with great pleasure as well. Окей? Okay? Uh, всем пока. Увидимся с вами на следующем.